Ah, Murkrow. The password is... Hail Giovanni! Yep, you just gotta walk around the corner, buddy. You just gotta walk around the corner. Uh, am I gonna fight anyone here? The password is Hail Giovanni! Murkrow screamed the password, mimicking the voice of Petrel. The voice recognition system unlocked the door. Woo! Let's go! Yeah! Hold it right there! Who the fuck are you? We can't let a bread like you do as you please forever! It'll hurt Team Rocket's pride over and over again! Make it lessen, you see? So, it's time to finish you, however strong you may be. It's the two of us fight at the same time. You'll have no chance of winning, don't you agree? Heh <laughs> sorry baby. Now get ready to be trashed. Now... Yeah, here we go. I'm not doing a double battle on my own. Hold it! A two-on-one battle? That is so unfair! Typical of Team Rocket to be so sneaky. Allow me to join the battle. What? You're an accomplice? Where's your sense of dignity? As interim boss of Giovanni, I'll show you how wrong it is to meddle with Team Rocket. Bring it, bitch! Okay. Come on, Lance. I know you have your amazing beast Pokemon. So, let's take a drowsy. Okay, oh, all my Pokemon are probably dying as well. You could have at least healed them up, Lance. Come on. Okay, so Dragonite here is going to pwn literally everything. That's how this is going to work. Uh, Sunflash is probably going to get knocked out, but we'll try and take out the Drowsy before we go. Dragonite flew high up. Okay. Arbok missed. Come on, let's get this Drowsy out of here. Okay. Ah. Well, one more on the Drowsy. Used Fly. Used on the Drowsy, didn't he? Yeah. So now my move's probably going to do nothing, because they're probably not going to send another Pokemon out until I've had my turn. How about use Glare? Ha! Ah, that sucks. Oh no, I used on Arbok instead. Didn't do very much though. Arbok's defense fell. New Pokemon! Grimer. Do I have any Pokemon that would be better against this? Look at that one. One HP on the two poisoned ones. I guess I could bring out Gyarados. No, we'll stick it out with Sand uh, Slash for a little bit. We will crush Claw Grimer then, since it wasn't very good against Starbuck. Ooh, is that as gone? Nope, didn't do very much. And Grimer, half health. Dragonite is going to use Fly again. Disable failed. Crush Claw on Grimer, Crunch, please don't KO. Aww. Didn't do that much damage last time. Fly on the Arbok. Good job, Lance. Good job. Good job, Lance. I mean, he's a level 40 Dragonite. Clearly gonna pwn everything. Evasiveness Rose. Yes, thank you. Let us Gyarados this shit up then, since it's our highest level Pokemon. Here we go, Gyarados. Ooh, they've got Gloom. Glooms are pretty cool. Ah, uh, yes. Let's go. Let's go. So, first of all, let's, um... Bite the Grimer. I want to get this Grimer out of here. There we go, perfect, done. Let me guess, Dragonite flew up high! Oh no, Gloom's gonna use Acid first. Let me guess, Gloom, not <laughs> Gloom flew up high. Dragonite was paralyzed. Well, that sucks. Uh, let's Dragon Rage this Gloom. <laughs> Just like OP move it up. Oh, only half. Interesting. Oh, yep, Dragonite flew up high. Typical. Uh, well, we'll bite this Gloom and see if that finishes off before Lance uh, gets his move. Although we're inside a building, so flew up high doesn't really make sense. Especially since we're underground. Murkrow! Is this the one that just helped me through the door? Probably not. Um, let's use Bite. 
If I had an electric move right now. Nightshade, eh? Oh, it's not on me, so it's fine. Thunder, yes. Good job, Dragonite. Good job, Lance. He knows his super effective moves. Because he's a boss. Okay. <clears throat> Woo! Gyarados leveled. God, I can't wait to just get out of here and heal my Pokemon. And then we can take on the gym. Oh my goodness. Oh, you really are strong. It's too bad if you want to join Team Rocket. Da blah, da blah, da blah. Money. Um. But that's fine. The broadcast experiment was a total success. It doesn't matter what happens to this hideout now. We have much bigger plans. You'll come to appreciate Team Rocket's true power soon enough. Enjoy yourself while you can. <laughs> yeah. Dick. Sorry, Josh. I saw how well you were doing, so I just hung back. Now all there is left to do is turn off that radio signal. Oh, we're gonna have to destroy all the electrodes. It's the machine that's causing all the problems. I don't see a switch on it. We have no choice. We have to make all the electrode faint. That should stop the machine from transmitting the strange signal. It's no fault of the electrode, so it makes me feel bad. Josh, let's split the job. I need to heal my Pokemon! Okay, so I have just visited the Poke Center here. Bit of havoc, my game crashed a couple of times. So uh, I believe Lance has taken the other side, so it was our turn to take this side's electrode on. Um, I'm thinking the best Pokemon to do this is going to be Sand Slash, since he's a rock type. And I have three Pokemon that are weak against uh, electrics, being Fero, Totodile, and Gyarados. But um, yeah, Sand Slash is going to do the best. He's a rock type, so he'll negate quite a lot of the damage. Um, Royal Art isn't really going to do much, it's not going to be very effective. Electric moves shouldn't be very effective either. The only thing that's actually going to do damage is self-destruct, which electrodes like to do. Um, but we can crush claw all of them if they only take two uh, crush claws, if they are the same level. Okay, one down, two to go. The electrodes look very menacing when they turn around like that. Like, <laughs> I'm an electrode, and is self-destruct. Alright, Sand Slash, you took 5 damage from the previous battle. That's Crush Claw. Spark doesn't affect Sand Slash. Good, can't be paralysed. At least I think that's what Spark does. I don't know. Ooh, critical. Damn. Um, we could cut this up. Roll out, perfect. Where are they getting rocks from in here, though? This is what I don't understand. It's like when Lance used Fly with the Dragonite. Where is he flying to? We are underground. There is a probably a very low roof on this place, so he's not flying up high. Like Pokemon, I guess this is quite an old game, and it's a remake of an old game. Um, but Pokemon needs to put things like that in. Like if you're inside a building, you can't use fly because that'd be an interesting mechanic. Make things a bit more tactical. Anyway, Crush Claw here should maybe level up. Yeah, definitely level up Sand Slash when this battle is over. We'll have a lovely level 26 sand slash. I think these uh, three electrode are supposed to just kind of be tedious at the end of a, a massive team rocket HQ. Um, but they do allow you to leave and go to the Poke Center and then come back, so you have all the time. There we go. Level 26 sand slash. Perfect. Lance. Oh, you're going to auto move me around here. Okay. Don't even have to do anything. Lance. Took longer than me. The odd signal has finally stopped. The lake should be back to normal. You're the best. Let me thank you on behalf of the, all the Pokemon. Oh yes, you should take this. I found it here. But I don't have any need for it. HM05. Holy moly, that's Whirlpool. Teach it to Pokemon to get across wild water. But keep this in mind. You can use that out of battle only with the bed from Mahogany Gym. Josh, the journey to becoming the Pokemon Champion is long and difficult. Knowing that, will you keep going? Yes. 
I see. No, you're right. <laughs> if you would give up that easily, you would have never chased that dream in the first place. I look forward to seeing you again. Bye, Lance. Running off so quickly that his, uh, his dragon was a whole, whole square on the floor behind him. Mine's like half a square. Good old sound slash keeping up. I'm surprised these claws don't like dig into my heels though. Whee! Teleport out of here. Oh, my mother is calling me. Okay. Hello. Oh, oh hi Josh, how are you? I found, I found this useful item on shopping, so put it with your money. I found the need to apologize after that as well. You should go to the Pokemart and pick it up. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> Very grateful of you. Okay. It is gym time. No need to heal up Sunslash. We're just going. What type is this? It is an ice type. Price is a veteran who has trained Pokemon for some 50 years. As you'll find, his attacks will make you shiver in this freezing gym. Are you ready to be frozen solid? I mean, keep up a hot fighting spirit against ice? Oh, let's see how many fire type Pokemon I've got. Ah, uh, none! This is going to go very well. Boink! I don't think I like the ice mechanics very much. So what is there around here? Why... What's special about here? No hidden items or anything? No. Whee! Whee! Do I actually, like, sit down on the ice? I well, guess kinda. Okay. There's a door. Inside the door... I'm assuming... Um... Okay, so we need to move those blocks. Well, as you probably already know by now, I love a good... A good battle in the uh, in the gyms. I love battling all the trainers just to rank up my Pokemon. So let's start with you, Missy. Hey there. This gym is a slippery four. It's fun, isn't it? But hey, we're not playing games here. Yeah, we are. You see, Pokemon is a bit of a game. It's an alternate reality. Border pattern. Swinub. Doesn't look very icy. Let's take this truck around. Ooh, a little concerned. My Pokemon are not doing very well rank-wise. It's level 26, and that's a 27, and that's the gym scrub. Uh, okay. Well, we will crush claw it. Um, I think the reason my Pokemon are so bad, this happened when I played uh, the original Black as well. My Pokemon didn't do very well because I uh, I shared like loads of XP out to Togepi. And now I have ditched Togepi, so... Yeah, my Pokemon could be doing a lot better off right now. But, uh, hey, we're gonna take out this sucker in, uh, in two hits, which is what I'd expect from this. Well, he was a level above me, so, you know, that's not a bad fight. We didn't take too much damage either. We will keep battling, because he's just gonna send out another of the same Pokemon, and we'll do the exact same thing again. He's gonna use Endure, so he braced itself. Don't know what that does, it maybe raises its defense or something. Uh, by the looks of things it does, yes, but we're going to use a rock tomb. Damn it, I missed. Okay, mud bomb. It's not the uh, the highest damage potential. It does decrease my accuracy, though. Let's try another rock tomb. Oh, I missed again. That is ridiculous. Icy wind. That's the exact opposite of what I wanted, because if I'm correct, that's going to be super effective. Uh, not cool. Okay, fine, we'll just have to crush you. It's gonna use a mud bomb, is it gonna do 12 damage? Yes it is, well looks like I'm going to the Poke Center after this battle. Uh, let's try and what's gonna be good against ice. I'm thinking maybe... No, electric, my electric is good against water. I think it's just fire that's gonna be good against this. Uh, we'll try a Thundershock though. Mud Slap. That wasn't much of a slap since this thing doesn't really have hands. GG Pokemon. Okay, so electric just doesn't affect ice in the first place. Interesting. Interesting indeed. It's super effective, but it didn't really do anything. Okay, we use strength. See how well this does. 
and it KOs the Swinub. Perfect. Oh, gained XP about halfway. Did you see how serious we are? Totally serious, dude. Totally serious. Well, let's just do this without um, Sandslash. Forgot his name for a second there. Let's just do this without Sandslash. Excuse me, Missy. To get to price our gym leader, you need to think before you skate. I know. Okay. How about you think before you battle one Pokemon? What What were you thinking? Also, since when was Jinx an ice type? I don't remember such a thing. Um, let's fighting type you. Ice punch. Ooh. Oh, I was going to say, that wasn't even a uh, super effective, it was just critical. Well, that sucks. Well, Nidorino, let's swap you out so you still don't hate me. Because Pokemon, their rare, uh, like, happiness decreases and then, like, they don't evolve if they're an Eevee or whatever. Yeah. Pokemon do weird things behind the scenes that nobody, unless you're a hardcore Pokemon nerd, really know about. Um, so Ice Fang probably isn't going to be the best of moves, so let's try Dark moves. I'm just trying to work out if there is anything super effective that isn't Fire type that I can try and use against these Pokemon. Well, that was a critical, and it's super effective, so Croconaw may be a good shot then. But then again, they are freezing a Water type. Could be super effective. Boom, level 25. I'm going very much against my tradition of uh, keeping my original Pokemon as my highest level one. Oh well. Um, I think we can go a little bit further without Sandslash, so let's try and do that. Did I think correctly? Oh. Oh yes, I did. Who is the greatest? Me. Then again, I think if you push it from either side, it's going to work. Okay then. Uh, who's next on the repertoire of defeat? This guy. Boom. Hello. Or are you female? I don't really know. Hey, hey, you shivering? Are you scared to fight me? No, I'm shivering because it's cold. I don't have a coat and hat on like you guys. Border Deandre. Deandre? Deandre? I know it's not Deirdre, I know that much. Seal fainted. 535 experience, and I grew to level 26. Perfect. Planet defeated Border DeAndre, you're so strong, so scary. Okay, let's switch out my Pokemon so that Nidorino is not at the start of my party. And let's make sure it's not second in case they have a move that switches the moves, the Pokemon around. Because it'll pick Nidorino, because Nidorino is second. Um, anyway, I think maybe we'll clear this room before visiting the... Pokey Center. Check out my parallel turn. Uh, battle with uh, Skier Jill. You like the other female Skier? Has one Pokemon. Flail and Jugong is down. Uh, please, somebody ring, ring the success gong, because Oh my god, that was an absolute pain. Um, I don't actually know how I am going to do this. Let me think, there's really only two things I can do. Okay, maybe there's three. I could um, go down this one and hit the ice block. Go down the middle and hit nothing. Or come in from the side and hit the ice block. Um, don't really know what's going to be best. Maybe hitting the side, coming back out like this, coming down here, forcing you to battle him. Here we go. Dude, it's Price. Let's go. Sup, Price? Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I, too, have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I've been training Pokemon since probably before you were born. In fact, yes, you're quite an old man and I'm supposed to be a ten-year-old. 
I do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power. Well, rowdy old man. Bring it, Price. I'm doing hand signals like he was. If only there was a webcam. Bring it, Price. Seal. I didn't track how many Pokemon he was using. That is a level 30 Seal. I am buggered, but he has three Pokemon indicated on the top right of the touch screen. Although it's not a touch screen because I'm running it on an emulator on my PC, just for your information. The more you know. Anyway, I'm going to have to use lots of bites on this. Um, Hail is just going to do a tiny bit of damage to me every single turn. Great. It's just going to waste time in the video, basically. Because it's going to have to do that every single turn. He's slightly killing himself as well, and it's not very effective against either of us. Um, so we have Bite and Flail that we can use that are fairly good against these Pokemon. Icy Wind, was that any good? Uh, 37 to 30, no, 7 damage, okay. Hell continues to fall, this is the bit where it wastes the video. Um, so the moves I have at my disposal are Bite, Flail, yes, Flail, and Sandshrew's Crush Claw, and possibly Rock Tomb. Who knows? And maybe, maybe Gyarados, maybe Gyarados knows Bite. That could be our little secret weapon. Thank you, Hale, you're really, really great right now. Okay, Bite. <sighs> oh, Price! What are you doing? I try and do these fights without using potions. That's how a true trainer fights. They don't just buff their Pokemon mid-battle. Icy Wind! Uh, Croconaw avoided the wind somehow. How is that possible? I don't know. Croconaw is secretly a magician. Anyway, let's swap out to Gyarados, who is also level 30, in the hopes that he has bite. Please have bite. Ah, oh, lovely red Gyarados. Oh, I'm going to use Hail. Great. Just great. In fact, it's perfect. Not. Yes. Okay. Oh, we do have Bite, and we have Dragon Moves as well. I don't know how good Dragon Moves are going to be against their uh, Icy Stuffs. But boom. That does quite a lot. Oh, it's going to use Rest. That is really not what I wanted. <laughs> Well, you know what? We will try some of the dragon moves while it can't attack me. Um, let's try Dragon Rage then. Dragon Rage, how much is this going to take down? Is it going to be super effective? No, but it did quite a lot of damage. I like that. But it only has, what, 10 PP? Um, but that should be enough to get us through this uh, gym battle. God, the hail is so annoying right now. Uh, what does Twister do then? How much damage is this gonna gonna do for us? Ooh, not very much, so Bite was much better than that, and it had more PP. So it's kind of this stage in the fight, if I wanted to take them out in one shot, I could use Dragon Rage and hopefully stop it from healing. But yes, let's use Bite and... Oh, it's gonna KO. Perfect. I guess I'm using a level 30 now as opposed to a 28 now. <laughs> Thank you, Crokinor, for leveling up to tell me that. It's going to use a Pillow Swine. Uh, I will switch Pokemon to Sand Slash just to see how good Sand Slash can do against probably a level 30 or above Pokemon. Okay, Pillow Swine. 34. Ooh. Eight levels ahead. Anyway, let's see what the Claw of Crushing can do. That's a blizzard. Uh, that's not very good. That is super effective and it KO'd me. Okay, great. Perfect. Gyarados, you're back out. That was a very bad move on my, my part. 
Anyway, this thing has a lot of fur to cope through the winter with. Good, goodness, goodness gracious me. Oh, okay, let's see how we're uh, dragon raging. I can do. Ooh. Yeah, Garadus avoided your blizzard. Don't know how. We're in a room. And apparently this thing can make a blizzard. Like, biting people I can understand with. You know, like, you just go and bite them. And Garados has very scary looking teeth. Um, how Pokemon can change the weather? Dunno. Pokemon must be magical. How Pokemon can stir up a blizzard for a short period of time? I don't know. They must be magical. This thing doesn't even look very icy as well. He just kind of looks like... You know, he's a big pile of fur. That was a critical. Okay. Oh, that's where the hail comes in handy for him, because Gyarados is a goner. That is a gone Gyarados. Well, it looks like Croconaw's going to come out while we revive the Gyarados. So, we will bag it up and status healers and revive on the Gyarados. Good, Gyarados recovered. Mud Bomb. Perfect for KOing me. Perfect for KOing me. That was unfortunate, Croconaw. I probably should have just sent out, like, Flaffy or someone. Um, let's just change out all the Pokemon until I've fully healed up Gyarados. So, bag uh, HP Hyper Potion Gyarados. Good, good. 53 points. Perfect. Blizzard uh, Nidorino is uh, probably a goner, especially since it's level 22. Doesn't even have to be super effective. Nidorino fainted. Hail continues to fall. All my Pokémon probably very unhappy right now. Anyway, Gyarados back on the scene. We're just going to try and Dragon Rage this one out of here, because uh, this thing is a bit of a bitch, and he's probably going to Hyper Potion it towards the end as well. So probably now. Q Hyper Potion? Oh no. Oh, he'll use it at the start of the next turn before I can get in my Dragon Rage, probably. The hail stopped. Perfect. Dragon Rage. Ooh. Okay. Please KO it. Yeah. Perfect. That's a Pillar Swine gone. Oh, wow, there's a lot of experience. Level 31 for the Gyarados. Price is about to send out Dugong. Will you switch your Pokemon? I will keep battling. Yes, I am a ten-year-old with a giant shiny red Gyarados. Hmph, you're quite the trainer. Yes, yes I am. And you're also the trainer that uses Hyper Potions. Anyway. Aurora Beam. I think this is where Gyarados may need another potion. Uh, we'll Dragon Rage it one more time and then maybe use a potion, depending on what move it chooses next. Aurora Beam. Okay. Willow is my middle name. Willow is flexible and not easily broken. I'm not giving up yet. Q Hyper Potion? There we go. That's the same thing. Full Restore. Dragon Rage. I knew it. I knew it. Um, you know what? You wanna go? Let's go. I can play it the same game. And trust me, my moves can probably do a bit more damage than some Aurora Beams. Hopefully. <laughs> uh Gyarados' attack fell. Oh, great. That's exactly what I want right now. That is just so perfect for this scenario. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. Aurora Beam. And uh, hopefully a Dragon Rage for the last time. Oh, please, God. Oh, please, God. Oh, please. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Who is the greatest? Not Price. Not after 75 years of experience, Price. You can't get me. Did he just say I got lucky? I don't know. I closed my eyes for a second there. Oh my god, Gyarados looks so ridiculous! 
<laughs> oh, he looks out of breath. I am impressed by your prowess. With your strong will, I know you will overcome all life's obstacles. You are worthy of this badge. Woo, Glacier Badge from Price. Love that music as well. The badge will raise the special stats of Pokemon. It also lets your Pokemon use Whirlpool and get across real Whirlpools. And this, this is a gift from me. TM07, probably Rest or Blizzard. Hail. Yeah, I guess no one else used Hail. Hailstone for five terms. Uh, damages all types except Ice. Oh, okay. I guess Seal is water type, so that's why it was getting the Seal. Right then, let's get out of here. Let's heal up, and um, yeah, that's going to be the end of the episode because that's a gym, and that's kind of pretty cool stuff. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm the JY Effect, and I'll see you next time. Okay, so I just noticed something. Uh, first of all, it's starting to go dark. It is now 5 p.m. in the UK, which obviously tells the game that like it's probably evening now because light levels in England suck. Um, but yeah, this was a tree earlier, and now it's like an antenna. So that's a pretty cool thing that I bet a lot of people will have missed out on. That is damn cool. Uh, I still can't actually go through here. So, uh, yeah, um, I don't know where to go next. I'll probably head back up here, maybe. Um, could go back. I could do both of those things. You know, the gym is defeated. Um, but if you want to see where I go, you'll have to find out next episode.